This is the bridge over the River Zambezi linking former southern Rhodesia on the right, which is now Zimbabwe since independence in the late 1970s, and on the left, former northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia. The bridge was opened 111 years ago today, the 11th of September 1906. It was designed by a British engineering company and it was the vision of John Cecil Rhodes to link Cairo to Cape Town by railway. The project didn't materialise and Rhodes died a couple of years before the bridge was to be built. He chose this site because he wanted the tourists to feel the spray of the Victoria Falls and to be close enough to see them and to appreciate the beauty of the area. The bridge, they started building it either side of the bank and they met in the middle and fortunately both spans lined up equally well. Years later they widened the bridge by four meters so that in addition to the railway line traffic in the form of cars, particularly lorries, exporting copper from Zambia to South Africa and on to Europe, could use this bridge. It's about 111 meters above the river Zambezi. It's got a span of about 198 meters. And it's the home of some of the bravest people in the world. They're the bungee jumpers, who I saw yesterday on the bridge. And you can see the rocks, the older rocks are right at the bottom and they are several million years old. And they were strong enough rocks to produce a fantastic foundation for the bridge. And the bridge had a stress test in the last couple of years because the bridge had a life expectancy of 100 years. It's just been given another 100 years of life. We're looking at the bridge that spans the river Zambezi. On the right hand side is the country of Zimbabwe. It used to be called Southern Rhodesia. On the left you will see Zambia, formerly Northern Rhodesia. The river Zambezi cutting through the gorge. And when the railway was built, they had to cross this gorge and they bridged it. And the bridge was open 111 years ago today, 11th of September 1906. They started building from each side and they were worried about whether they'd meet exactly in the middle. It was a fantastic feat of engineering and since then the bridge has been expanded widthways by four meters to accommodate traffic by cars and keeping the railway line there. But when the bridge was being built some people thought it was an engineering example of vandalism to put an uh, iron structure in such a beautiful part of the world as here. The bridge is crossed by lorries, trains, people and cars. It is a fabulous vantage point to look at from here and from being on the bridge. And that bridge is used by amongst the bravest people in the world, they're the bungee jumpers, the adrenaline junkies that I have realized are in their 20s and early 30s than the people who take part in severely diminish. And I must be a correlation, a psychological process of age and fear. And the 17 year old Zambian chap who's holding the camera, he tells me that he will be bungee jumping. Anyway, we'll wait and see. Thank you very much for tuning in to Turner's Travels.